Hey Virgo, thank you for tuning in for this weekly message with me. Please take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. All right, let's get into it. Let's see your present energy, Virgo. What is the present energy for Virgo for the week of October 28th? I'm actually pre-recording this on October 23rd. Let's see the weekly message for Virgo during the week of October 28th, 2024. Let's get the present energy. What is, what is, what's the present energy? Present energy for Virgo. Let's see. That was the present energy for Virgo. All right. Your present energy is day to cup. So walking away. <laughs> All right. And what is Virgo desires? What is Virgo desiring during the week of Five of Swords in, re in reverse? So you're desiring to come out of conflict. You're desiring to lay down all the swords. Like, look, you know, let bad guys be bad guys. I don't want no beef. I don't want no drama. I want a peaceful life. I don't want the stress and the drama. I get it. Show us more. Um, What would be helpful for Virgo? What would be helpful for Virgo during this week? The lovers, okay. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini or just love, you know. Um, let's see more. Show us more on the lovers. What would be helpful for Gemini? Clarify the lovers, the lovers, or just making your mind up a choice, making a making a choice in love. Possibly pertaining to yeah, it's just love. You want love, okay? What would be helpful for you is love, love from a, a Scorpio. Um, or love from, um, it could be a masculine, a water sign, or someone could have Gemini placements, but just love. Um, this will be helpful for you right now. What is challenging for, uh, Virgo? What is the obstacle for Virgo during this week? What is the obstacle? The obstacle is the emperor, a father figure, a Aries, or, um, this could be a baby father or, or this could be a baby mother, you know, they could be an Aries or they could have uh, Aries placements or, you know, they could be in this emperor energy wanting, you know, total control. Uh, <laughs> but this is an obstacle. It's showing up as an obstacle here. Uh, show us one more on the emperor or Virgo obstacle. Temperance, some of you could be a Sagittarius or someone could have Sagittarius placements and Aries placements. Um, you want peace with whoever this is. But it looked like um, it's an obstacle to gain this peace with this person, whoever this is. So like it's it's hard to to have a peaceful conversation. It's hard to, or just stay peaceful. Maybe you know for a minute it's balanced, and then next thing you know it's here we go again, <laughs> something like that. Um, let's get the near future. What's in the near future for Virgo? Near future. The near future is the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning here. Possibly a new job, new financial opportunity. Some of you, you may want to walk away from a, a, a work environment, dealing with someone. Or it's like you may, you may um, you don't have you don't have interest there anymore. You don't have love there anymore. You just feel like yeah, I'm just here. But um, you could have an issue with your with your boss or something. Um, where you have a new job coming up for you in the near future. For some of you, this is like I said, this is someone you're walking away from. Presented to love, um, or just whatever it is you're walking away from, it is love. It's something that you care for, whether this was a job or this is a lover or someone that you had a connection with or whatever. Um, it looked like you're walking away from that. But it's, it's it seemed like it's difficult to gain that peace with whoever this is. That's why the desire of the Five of Swords in reverse you're desiring to come out of conflict. You're desiring to, you know, let that, let whatever was said or done, let it be. Like, let's just, let's find a peaceful resolution. That's what someone is, someone is wanting. Show us the near future. Show us more on the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. And the near future. Ace of Swords. Good. And then Strength. So it looks like in the, in the near future, you're going to be gaining um, a lot of positivity. It looks like you have a new financial opportunity or just a new beginning period that's going to bring you victory and strength due to overcoming whatever this conflict 
issue was with this person. Someone, someone, um, dang, we got all the fire signs. We got Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Emperor, Temperance, and Strength here. Show us a message for Virgo. Virgo, some of you could be coming into connection with the Leo, or uh, there could be honest communication coming in with the Leo, or uh, just truth, you know, um, there could be some type of offer. So it looked like in the near future, things could get settled. Um, I don't know if it's going to be continued because it seemed like, you know, that could have been an issue with it remaining balanced. Um, also, someone could, could, could need to work on their patience as well. Show us a message for Virgo. Dang, y'all reading going to be quick too. Show us a message for Virgo. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. So you have someone else that's wanting to give you an offer. You just got to come out of a conflict with someone else. So whoever this King of Cups is, that could be the, the lover that you could that you could be coming into connection with who like you. Um, they could possibly be in love with you. This would be helpful. Or you feel like this would be, you know good for you to come into connection with this person versus whoever this other person is who you know could be very argumentative it could be uh very hostile very chaotic with this person show us more for virgo virgo some of you could be returning the ring like look i don't want your ring no more i don't want this no more and you you could be wanting it with someone else. You do have someone that, that is wanting to offer a ring. Some of you could be getting engaged or getting married or someone is wanting to take things to the next level with you. Show us and you want to get out of the situation with someone else. You want to walk away? Show us more for uh, Virgo. Virgo. One more. You may not even say, for instance, you out the situation, but you're not out. Like you could have, you could have split up, separated, or whatever. But it's like this person still lingering in your energy. So that's what I mean. Like maybe you feel like you still still a tie to that. Um. So you want you want out. I get it. For some of you, you may still reside with this person, still have to um deal with them or whatever, and you're ready to just walk away. They want you to focus on yourself, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So actually what I'm getting with the um and the helpful energy, that love. They're saying love will help you, help you with this healing process because you do have to heal. Um, You do have someone that's interested in you, that like you, but due to possibly what you have went through with the past situation, you could have, you know, closed off. You close your heart off, but... um. What would be helpful for you is to work on your heart chakra, to open your heart, to allow love back in. So, yeah, but you do have um a good um a good outcome. Well, a good near future, and the near future look like you're about to receive um something that you really want or is very precious to you. Um, uh, this could be just a new start, fresh start where you like, woo, you know, you feel the weight lifted. Um, I'm also getting like honest communication with someone you could have been holding back or this person could have been holding back. I feel like, you know, due to the transition of this, it may take time in order to get into that peaceful state with this person. So it could be, you know, in a matter of a week or two or, um, so on <laughs> for some, but it will come in. So, since this is the week of Halloween, I just want to use my Halloween card. I see anything want to come out. I'm not feeling too much with this uh, message that you have. And the last reading I did, which was Leo, no cards came out for them. I don't feel like much can come out due to this reading. Your reading was very uh, short. Any messages for Virgo? So, oh, okay. They got 
quite a bit. Something about the autumn. We're in the autumn. We're in the fall. Okay. We have hocus pocus. <laughs> uh oh. You could, someone could have been dealing with the warlock. Uh, M Street. Someone could have been dealing with nightmares. That made me think of you know, um, Freddy Krueger. We have frightening night. Yeah, someone could have been having like nightmares and possibly due to this ex that you're trying to walk away from, dressed in disguise. So someone definitely, you know, they dress in disguise. They don't. They're a warlock. They pretend to be someone that they're not so they can, you know, get over on people like you. Okay? Or, you don't know, it could be a Virgo warlock out here, but take it however it resonates. But that is it, you guys. Um, Definitely just consider the the obstacles, mainly in the, the helpful energy that will help you in this journey this week, okay? All right, and until next time. See you later.